Hi, I'm Tom Garner. I'm here on Bulldog Hill. Uh, this is April the 18th, 2015. This will be the final in the series of uh, videos regarding their rebuild on their brood boxes. Uh, the, the metal parts are harvested from uh, the T.E. Scott kits that we used to build their uh, brood boxes back around 1990. And then after 25 years, uh, we harvested the, the metal parts, uh, essentially the wire, the this, this wire in the sides and in the floor. The other metal parts were custom fabricated to, uh, to serve the uh, current design changes. Okay, you can see we've, we did seven brood boxes, and uh, they're all occupied except for one. And I'm going to show you the... Uh, the features in this this box show you how this turned out. You can see the uh, the lids are capped with uh, uh, with 26 gauge galvanized steel, custom bent to, to cover the edges to preserve the uh, the plywood tops. As we've indicated in the earlier videos that we showed during construction, uh, each wall, the top and the bottom all have uh, two inches of high-grade foam encased between two layers of uh, half-inch pressure-treated plywood. You can see we've built a door into the side to allow for additional ventilation, cross-flow ventil cross ventilation from the side to the door uh, for summertime use to dissipate excess heat. You'll see even the, the side door uh, has two inches of foam built into a plug that tightly seals into the opening in the wall. Uh, the, the foam in that plug has angle steel, again 26 gauge galvanized steel, custom bent to, uh, to protect the edge of the foam. So we have, the, uh, we have a layer of plywood, we have a layer of foam, another layer of plywood, and then the edges are bordered and protected by, uh, I believe, uh, it's roughly two and a half inch angle, or angle uh, galvanized steel. Same is true for the, uh, the plug that's built into the, the, the lid. And you can see all that is bolted with carriage bolts that go through the entire lid and the rounded uh, end of the carriage bolt is is on top of the box underneath the uh, the metal cap. Looking inside, uh, the door has some unique features. Of course, all aspects of the opening of the door are wrapped again. This in this case in channel steel, channel galvanized steel is cu custom shaped and bent uh, in order to protect and keep the dogs from chewing the, uh, the wood in the opening. We built a bumper all the way around the inside. Basically it's con constructed of a two by four, uh, situated roughly four inches above the bottom of the floor. That's a high danger area that we're eliminating uh, where the floor and the wall come together. Many puppies get mashed in those locations. So the bumper uh, ma makes for a, a dead space, a void underneath the mother hits the bumper, the puppy can go up underneath there and not get mashed. Again, it's, it's a high target area for, for dogs to chew on, and we've eliminated that problem by custom bending uh, the 20, uh, well actually this is 20 gauge uh, galvanized steel. The, uh, the lids are 26 gauge uh, to prevent uh, a good hard mouth pit bull from chewing up wood, you, you need 20 gauge. You can see the the red heated pad. Each one has an 18 by 28 cane, that's K-A-N-E, heated uh, pad that uh, allows the pups, mothers to stay warm in cold weather. Uh, the idea was to make the floor surface a little more than twice as big as the heated pad. The heated pad needs to be big enough to accommodate the mother and the litter so that they can all stay warm uh, with the heat coming up through through uh, 
through their skin, through their bodies. Instead of having a light, which is going to just warm the top of them a little bit, this is a much more efficient way of uh, keeping a pup in a litter warm. So it's 18 by 28, 78 watts, made by Keen, K-E-A-N-E, uh, roughly $130 each. Um, and the floor surface area is more than twice as big, so everybody's got a choice of being on this thing or off of it so they can find their own comfort. You can see that we built a, uh, an arm to hold up the lid. It needs to be a good sturdy piece of one eight inch thick, uh, I believe this is probably inch and a quarter, either inch or inch and a quarter angle aluminum, one eighth inch thick, attached with a bolt that sandwiches through the entire two inch thick wall. Actually the wall itself is a little more than three inches thick. It's two inches of foam and then a half inch of plywood on each side. And we use glue everywhere that uh, we reasonably can. It just makes us the, uh, the whole structure a lot stronger. Um, you can see how the clasps are mounted. I'll show you the, uh, the inside. You can see the, uh, we have a ramp built so it's easy for pups that get out to, to climb back up the ramp and get back in. It's a terrible situation whenever a pup uh, gets out in extremely cold weather and then can't get back in. So we try to design things to allow them the opportunity to get back in. One uh, aspect of the door, the door itself, actually a couple aspects of the door. The door itself is one eighth inch thick aluminum plate and uh, it's suspended by stainless steel lock washers from a piece of uh, angle aluminum that's mounted up at the uh, the top of the door frame. The, uh, the reason that it's mounted this way instead of on hinges is um, if, if you got a solid mount instead of just a hanging suspended door if you got a solid hinge uh, there's a there's a high risk of pups going through it and getting wedged in the door uh, but if you have a certain amount of sloppiness built into the this style of, of suspending the door with the lock washers so that uh, when they start to get wedged in uh, it, it can push up and move to the side a little bit and give them give them an option of uh, uh, moving one way or another and, and getting free and successfully navigating the door. Okay, well I hope this has been beneficial. We're very happy with the result. Uh, these boxes are extremely warm uh, with the, all the insulation. If you go any tighter with the doors uh, or other seals, then you probably run into issues regarding uh, excess humidity having some condensation. So this is a balance of uh, airflow and minimizing uh, heat dissipation through the walls that uh, that works for us. So we've got little or no condensation and we have good warmth uh, even in the coldest weather. All right, well, I hope this helps. And uh, uh, if there's any questions, most of you know how to get in touch with me drop me a text or an email or a Facebook message and I'll do my best to help keep you on track with your construction. Let me uh, add one other point that I see. You'll notice that the uh, the doors have, uh, the side ventilation doors have latches on either end of the top. And the reason for that is if you just had one on the, in the middle, you're subject to have some warpage in that piece of, of plywood. So basically all four corners are secured and and made to conform to the wall. They're secured on the bottom by hinges, secured on the top by latches. So, okay, well, I hope this has been of use to uh, the folks who are watching the video. And again, if you have questions, don't hesitate to contact me.